I prefer to have the natural foliage coming from the natural trunk whenever possible. So today I'm going to chop all the branches of this ficus. Never defoliate a ficus? Ha! I disagree. Late last year I got this big ficus. And at the time it was a little bit more overgrown than it is now. Because the tree was way too tall, I chopped some long branches off. The two types of foliage here next to each other. Um, the original foliage is quite large and has a pointy leaf. The grafted foliage is smaller and has a rounded leaf. And the internode distance is very, very short on the grafted foliage. Some of the problems that I'm going to face is that this branch was grafted on, but you can see here by the crack, the trunk has died back all the way to this point. I'm going to go quite high because maybe there is some buds here that will pop. Less talking, more action. So the natural latex that comes out of a trunk um, is quite irritable, it's quite sticky. And one way to reduce the effect of latex on your skin is watering it down. This will reduce the amount of sap that the tree releases. How can you tell whether your ficus is grafted as well? Um, in general, most ficus that you will buy from a supermarket or a hardware store that is sold as a bonsai will have grafted foliage. If you look here, you see a line in the bark. In fact, this bark is a little bit darker than the main bark. There's some damage here. This is where they took a knife, they made a cut, and they put this branch in. Let's see whether we can get this out with a few of the roots. And that might then actually become a new plant. With all the branches gone, it is now very easy to take a look at the tree. Is this the front? or the other side? Leave me your reply in the comments. Or should I use this as a front? Um, the nice part here, you still have the nice slant, but here you can see that what from the other side looks like two main trunks, it is actually one trunk that has fused. The main top is moving into the back. This one is moving into the back. This is going to be a big ugly scar. I think the other side is the better one. And what we see, it's a nice tapered trunk. There's one trunk here and there's another trunk there. This being the biggest trunk, also the tallest trunk, I've now cut at a slant. I hope that somewhere here buds will pop. This is the original main trunk foliage and I might just plant it in here, slant it away from the trunk like this. So it fills up the nabari and I can use these branches here. And over time, I hope that it will self graft here or I'll help it.
it has been three months exactly till the last shot and I would say this ficus has done exceptionally well. There are some dead stumps on the top, but that was to be expected and I'll leave those be. But for now, let's clean this up, shall we? Let's start by removing all these weeds. This weed is uh, Oxalis and it really is the bane of my bonsai. As you can tell, it creates runners. Um, it is a perennial. It creates lots of seed. And worst of all, it makes a massive taproot that goes down into the pot. If you don't get it out, it will just re-sprout. Really annoying plant. If anybody knows how to get rid of Oxalis in your pots, other than just continue pulling, I would love to know because I really, really dislike this weed. With all the weeds gone, we have a bit of a better view on the tree. And the question now, of course, is how do you continue with a tree like this? And what you're going to notice is that here, for instance, there's maybe 15 branches coming out of the trunk. That's no good. You only want one, maybe two branches if the bar tree is still sparse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prune out this whole tree, reduce every point to one or two branches. I'm going to remove branches that come out of the trunk very low because it needs to be a tree and not a shrub. And trees don't have branches on the lower 20-30% of the trunk. So let me do that and I'll be right back. So now you can have a look at the tree. You can see a little bit better what branches we have. And there's actually quite a few branches. And yes, I said I'm going to remove everything in the lower third, but these are the cuttings that we put in place um, when we were pruning it initially. And what I want to do, I want to leave these in little grooves here so they can merge with the original trunk and become part of the final tree. Cleaned up, trimmed back, wired out, one graft, two graft, three grafts in place. Guess it's now back in the greenhouse for the last couple of weeks of summer and then back into the living room. Next shot will be just before I put it inside. 